What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. We got a brand new WWE Elite Wave revealed to us just yesterday or last night, later in the evening time, and I didn't have time to get the news video up yesterday. So I'm starting off your Saturday morning with some epic wrestling action figure news. Got a lot to cover here today, and it's pretty epic. I'm excited for it, man. We're going to dive straight into it and get into it, man. Let's start off with WWE Elite Series 115, man. This was put up by Action Figure Attack. Steve Ozer, we're going to run through the full wave. We also have... Uh, uh, look at an Ultimate Edition upcoming. We have a lot of stuff to, to cover here today, man. So let's buckle up. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into Elite 115. Let's start things off with the final boss. Now, I have a lot of things to say about this figure. Specifically, we have our final boss, Rock. This was revealed to us at WrestleMania back in Philadelphia. And we got to see the render image and everything. And I gotta say, I have a lot of weird feelings about this figure, man. I got, I, I got a lot to say. Let's start off with the head sculpt. The head sculpt is not my favorite of all time. I feel like it's very cartoony looking. It's not the worst head sculpt I've ever seen. I've definitely seen worse rock head sculpts. But I am not, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Now they're using this torso. Now, it looks to me like this may be that new torso that we've been seeing. This looks like that's. this is going to be the new Randy Orton torso. The new AJ Styles torso. It looks very similar to the Gunther Elite 102 torso, but it is slightly different. They did give him bigger shoulders and deltoids and everything like that, and a lot of people were dragging this torso for The Rock. I don't know how I feel about it. I think that, you know, the, the normal Triple H Drew McIntyre torso, I prefer. I think it really captures his look the most, I think, especially in the modern day, and I also feel like his chest tattoo, the shape of it looks weird because it's trying to fit the peck of this really odd torso choice that we have right here. It's kind of a bigger chest mold you know it kind of looks like the elite equivalent of the new ultimate edition triple h the monday night wars one i do like the cloth goods vest i do like some of the things going on the chain is cool and everything like that man but they are using the new mr perfect style build of figure legs it's those muhammad ali style legs and you'll notice if you look at the full wave up next to each other it looks like this guy's gonna be pretty short man and i don't know what is going on with the rock figures man anytime they do a promo gear rock he's always tiny they never ever get his height correct and I don't know what's going on there but I mean if you just stand back at face value it's not that bad and you may actually be able to switch this out because those are build-a-figure legs you may be able to just pop those legs out I'm not entirely sure I'm not going to you know put that in stone or anything like that but I'm saying it might be possible and also after that it is on ball joints so you may be able to switch these legs out for some longer legs or something like that and you know give him that height to give him I know we shouldn't have to have to do something like that but it is worth noting and I want to think you know did he wear a bu belt buckle or anything I can't remember off the top of the dome but maybe it would have been cool if they did you know the ruthless aggression rock belt buckle or crotch right there if that was the case he may not have had a belt buckle on I just felt, for some reason in my brain I feel like he did but I still like this figure in terms of in certain ways I like it in certain ways I'm kind of iffy on it we'll have to see when we get it in hand but I do like the cloth goods vest it is an updated rock we get the new Brahma Bull tattoo but let's move on to the next figure in the wave which is going to be Kyrie Sane and this figure looks Kyrie insane Brad I mean my god in heaven would you look at this figure it does look Look like I want to say she's still using the damn Alexa Bliss kick pads or feet at least and that does bother me but look at all of the details you're getting here man I mean it's unbelievable how much detail they're packing in here look at all the deco and the belts and the and the paint apps I mean dude all of the money for this wave went into this figure right here I mean this is unbelievable how many things they packed in here, man. It's crazy. Crazy good Kyrie Sane figure. This is going to be one of the better elites uh, for the women's figure, especially coming into 2025. I highly doubt this wave makes it before the end of the year. I guess I could be wrong. Maybe they will. I mean, it's it's only December 7th. Maybe these make it by Christmas and we can fill them into our top elites of the year. You guys know I always count them. If, the, if I get them in hand before the end of the year, it counts. You know, I'm not going based off what you find at retail and everything like that. If they're available to the public and you can buy them online, I I think that it should count for that calendar year, at least for me and, and myself. If I get it in hand and I review it on the channel, it's going into my top 10. That's just how that works there for me personally. That's just how I do my personal top 10 or, you know, top figures of the year. This figure looks
looks insane, and it would definitely be up there if it does make it on time. This figure looks crazy, but another figure that looks absolutely unbelievable has to be the Elite 115 Tyler Bate. I mean, my God in heaven... They were cooking on this one, Brad. I will say I'm afraid of the legs. I feel like they may be stiff. We'll have to see when, we, when that comes. You know, we never know. You never know what you're going to get with these new factories and different things going on. I am scared of that. However, great use of the Elite 110 Theory torso. I do believe that's the torso that we're using here. You have the entrance jacket robe. Great looking head sculpt. Such a better figure and better execution of him compared to that ringside exclusive or whatever the hell that was back in the day. That really pale Tyler Bate figure that was god awful. This one puts that in the chokehold and throws him off a building. It's not even close. This figure crushes that figure. Better formula, better pizza. Papa John. This is such a damn good figure, and I, a lot of people were saying they wish that the sleeve wasn't on there so that you could see his tattoos, which would be cool, I will say, but uh, I think that we may be getting another figure of his. Since he's not the chase in this set, maybe we're going to get another Tyler Bate here soon, but I don't know. This is definitely a must-have. It's a great head sculpt. This looks so good. This is, like, we talk about taking people and shrinking them down and putting them in our collections or putting them in figure form. This is example A of that. I mean, this is unbelievable how good this Tyler Tyler Bate looks. I really can't describe it. White attire, white sleeve, looks poseable, great details. It's unreal. This is a great figure. Great figure. Can't wait for this one. Been waiting on a Tyler Bate for so many years. You know, an updated version. This is easy money right here for me personally. But let's move on to the next set. We are the next figure, I should say. It's going to be our truth Now, our truth hasn't had a figure in a while. It has been a minute since we've gotten him. But this is another damn good our truth figure, man. Our truth They are crushing it. And I love that they didn't go with the Macho Man torso. They didn't go with the, with the Drew McIntyre style torso. They went with with the Apollo Crew style torso, which is such a good, unique use of this torso here. I think they did a good job. I think that everything looks good on this figure. I love that you have the Judgment Day T. You have that same sculpted shorts mold, double jointed arms, great head sculpt. He doesn't have the old Cena shoes. He's got the new Kofi shoe mold, which is great. Uh, excellent pick. Excellent pick right here. Great recognition of our truth another figure where it looks like they shrunk the guy down into figure form. I love it, man. I love it. I don't think you could really... I don't know how you'd have an issue with this figure. It's kind of unbelievable, and I like... You know, I didn't really care for that Judgment Day t-shirt, but I like that we have the Finn and Damien and Rhea and Dirty Dome, and then you have the and or truth at the bottom and tape. Great, great job right here. I like this. I'm, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really good. So, our truth is killing it. I'm, I'm excited to get an updated our truth in the building. And then we got to talk about this, man. The Elite 115 Drew McIntyre. Now, we have two different versions here. And it's very odd because I could have swore this is his WrestleMania 40 gear. Am I tripping? This is his WrestleMania 40 gear, which would mean that on the back it's going to have that really cool dragon style deal. Is this not his WrestleMania 40 gear? I, it doesn't give us a back shot of the figure so I can't tell if it exactly is but it looks identical to it it looks just like it if it's not and that would shock me I think this is and it's and that's what his ultimate edition is too so this is the elite equivalent of the ultimate edition I know you don't get the head sculpts and different stuff but I'm pretty sure this is his WrestleMania 40 gear but we got to get into the chase variant which is his WrestleMania 39 gear in the white and gold and oh my god in heaven that is immaculate this is the best Drew McIntyre figure ever made great formula you know his figure Figures have been really good for a while now, the last two, three, four years. His figure, ever since they moved to the double joint arms, and even before that, when they switched his skin tone to a more accurate skin tone and everything like that, his figures are crazy good. So this looks great. I know it's kind of a repeat of Elite 104 or the top picks. It's very similar. It's kind of a repaint. Head sculpt is slightly different. I'm pretty sure it is slightly different. It's got a slightly different, you know, facial expression or something like that. But I love both these figures. I'm definitely going to be grabbing these. I got to get my hands on this chase. This looks amazing. The white and gold. You guys know how I feel about that. This is the best Drew McIntyre gear he's ever done. So I think this is an easy pickup. It looks great. Drew McIntyre is the chase in this set, and I think they did a good job on this Elite right here, but the last figure in the set is going to be his arch nemesis. It's going to be CM Punk Elite 115. I do believe this is his gear from Royal Rumble 2024, where he did come up short versus Cody Rhodes, and he did lose that. Was there in person for that one, and this looks just like the gear to me. At least, I don't think I'm missing details, but this old man punk head sculpt looks good. The gear looks good. The t-shirt looks nice. Uh, again, in 2025, we're going to get so many CM Punks, man. This is just the beginning. We have the Defining Moments, the Mattel Creations, the Ultimate Edition. We have the Elite 113. We have the top picks in the All Black. We have this one. 
They're going to pump all of these figures out, and they're going to, this is just the beginning. They're going to be re-releasing them, and we have the SES, so they wasted no time, and they're going to continue to pump them out, but this figure does look really good. I know we wish he had the Cobra tattoo, the Pepsi tattoo, but, uh, you know, they're not going to be... It felt like Jazzwares pushed it to the, the very limit of how much they could do there. I don't think Mattel's going to be attempting their hand at that, and uh, they're going to be crossing their T's and dotting their I's on that one, but the CM Punk does look good. This entire wave is pretty strong, man. I know you don't have any flashbacks here, but uh, I guess, you know, no flashback looks. You do have The Rock, who's kind of a flashback, I guess. CM Punk, kind of a flashback. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. No flashback eras. All these are modern day style figures, but all of them look really, really good, except for maybe a thing here and there, which we can't really put our thumb on until we get the figures in hand. But Elite 115 does look good. That CM Punk is insane with the head skull, man. It's unbelievable. Let's move on, man. We have some Superstars figures here. I want to say, didn't we see these, at least in grayscale at, at San Diego Comic-Con. I could be wrong there, but we do have Jake the Snake here. We have a regular edition and a chase. I think the chase is in white, if I'm not mistaken, but you have this lime green and purple attire. Jake the Snake t-shirt. Very plain Jake shirt. What a weird shirt to include, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but he does come with the snake. You have the boots. Jake the Snake is a perfect addition to the Superstars line, but he does have the white and black. I low-key like the white gear with the, the red and black. Kind of looks very... I don't know. I kind of like that, man. It looks really, really good, but these are really good figures, man. I love the Superstars line in its own way, but we also have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's got his gi on there. He's got the belt. He looks jacked as hell. He looks really, really good. He also comes with an alligator, which is cool. I, I, I like this figure. Really good inclusion. Another guy that has to belong in the Superstars line. I don't think he could really go wrong with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. But then we also have the last figure in the set, which is going to be Eddie Guerrero, which is another really good figure, man. I love the boot detail. love the LWO shirt. He's looking real jacked. The stylized figures of these look so good, man. And I like how pissed off he is. And I really wish... How, how have we not got Stone Cold Steve Austin in jorts and an Austin 316 shirt, both in cloth goods? So you can remove it and have him in wrestling gear. It could have the knee braces. There's, I mean, how is that? That's such a home run Superstars figure. When they reveal that... That'll definitely be one that I grab multiples of. I can't wait for that day. But we do have Eddie Guerrero. This set looks pretty good, I think, overall. All things considered, really, really good set here of Superstars figures. But then we also have these figures. We have Elite 117 Rhea Ripley. I don't think I talked about this, but this was shared in a TikTok by Steve Ozer. And he gave some details on Elite 117 Rhea Ripley and the Ultimate Edition Damon, Damian Priest, which shouldn't be too far behind. But we do have Rhea Ripley here. She's got the Mommy Choker on. Really good head sculpt. This does look to be a proto type from what I'm seeing here, but figure looks really good. I really do wish it had the sternum tattoo and all the tattoos, but it does look very good. It looks like a very good Rhea Ripley. Could be the best Rhea Ripley figure of all time. Don't have the ultimate just yet. You know, I love the Elite 110, but that, you know, that was in white gear, which I love white gear, but I think people really wanted her black attire or black and purple, and I think these are going to be, you know, the ones that people really, really want. It's going to be the Elite 117 here with this smiley head sculpt. Kind of wish she was pissed off instead of smiling, but we'll take it, and then you do have the Ultimate Edition, but this looks good. I just really want a Rhea Ripley Elite with a sternum tattoo. That's my next request from Mattel here, but let's move on to the Ultimate Edition. Damian Priest, who looks like a damn Swiss Army knife. He's got the pissed off straight head sculpt, and then he's got the smiling head sculpt. Now, he does have, he has so much going on here. I mean, this guy looks like a John Brown superhero or super villain in this case when you look at him, but he's got this giant cape on. He's got this purple, silver, and black going on with the drips and everything like that. You're looking at the Money in the Bank briefcase. I do not like that they went back to the massive briefcase. This is a massive briefcase. This is the old school briefcases that they used to give the figures, and I do like the paint apps on it. I like how the purple looks and the silver details on the inner lining of the, of the handle and everything going on with the suitcase or the briefcase, but I just don't like the size of it. It's it's comically large. It's comically large. You guys know that when they did those chase cases, those were much better. They looked a lot more accurate, and maybe they felt like they couldn't pack all the details in on that, but it looks so much better to do it with the accurate briefcase. I just think this briefcase is way too big, but I love the cape. This Damian Priest, you guys know, he's one of the guys that he all, all of his figures are good. It's unreal how good his figures are. So far, he's three for three. He could be four for four as he competes here with his Ultimate Edition, but the cape looks good. This is going to be a really good Ultimate, 
and I don't think we'll get this in hand until 25, probably January 2025, hitting ring collectibles. Obviously, we do have Ultimate Edition Series 20 right. coming first, and maybe those will hit before the year is over and they'll sneak into our top ultimates or whatever the case is. I think what I might do, instead of doing my top 10 ultimates, I may just rank every Ultimate Edition release in 24 from worst to best and make that my ranking video for the year of the ultimates. And honestly, we need to re-rank every Ultimate Edition because that video is two or three years old now and we've gotten so many more. I need to do that, but I think that is all the news that we had. It was a pretty, a pretty good news right here, man. I mean, you have a full Elite Wave here, Elite 115. A lot to discuss about it. I'm really blown away by the quality of the wave. You know, we talk about this a lot here on the channel, how it's gotten to a point where there's not a lot going wrong, man. I mean, I know that we have the factory issues with some of the loose parts or the tight joints and some of those issues, but in terms of the figure's aesthetics, I mean, it's hard to compete, man. At this price point and these Ultimate Editions and these Elites, I don't really... You're not finding anything like this on the market. I promise you that. I promise you that. With the with the amount of accessories and the and how quality the figures are, I just don't see you really finding that, that quality at that level, at that price point across the board, across action figure lines. Mattel's putting out just some of the best stuff that you'll find on the market, especially for a retail brick and mortar, walk in the store and find it chilling on the pegs, not talking about imports or SH figure arts or any stuff like that. I mean, these figures are unbelievable, man, but that is pretty much going to wrap up the news for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all this down in the comment section below. What do you think of Elite 115? What do you think of these new figures coming out? I'd love to know down in the comment section below. Of course, but join me discuss debate down below but a huge shout out to our patreon members man i appreciate all you fellas thank you guys so very much again for everything that you guys do for me and all the support over the years you guys are unbelievable but i'm getting out man hope you guys did enjoy leave me all your thoughts on this down in the comment section below have a good saturday i'll see you guys later roll tide